after so long finally we are here and finally we can hear each other right yes yeah it's been a really long time i have been trying to connect with you and i guess three times we have done already right and yes <laughs> it's you know first time <laughs> first time. i i'd like to meet you uh, you know i'm uh, you know i have a, uh, i would like to meet you so i uh, i feel like talking to you but what happened i don't know so as uh, as a god we say so it's okay <laughs> we didn't give up that's why we are here today even though we tried three times before too and it was not uh, working well but now it is great it is good nice to meet you uh since we are meeting for the very first time first of all i would like to know about yourself yes ma'am sure so my name is pritam i am from west bengal and now that i'm doing graduation from ignu i have taken hindi honors yes and apart from this you know uh, i have a grocery shop where i work and i'm cycle mechanic i repair by cycle and apart from this i have a youtube channel yes and i am uploading like a conversation video and i have uploaded like a uh, eight conversation video in these days yes ma'am that's all about me so i'd like to know about you ma'am because this is our first conversation i know but <laughs> but i'd like to know in this time your introduction please give, give me your introduction ma'am sure sure i would love to tell you about myself but before that i would I would love to appreciate you that you are doing a lot of things like as you mentioned you are doing first year graduation in hindi honors right yes and uh, grocery shop mechanical and youtuber learning english wow a lot of things are there what's your hobby now yes ma'am my hobby is like uh, uh... no actual my hobby is you know i want to become a yoga teacher but it is not possible ma'am because uh, where i live this is uh, you know i am as i told you just that i am from west bengal but uh, here you know it is no, there is no institute uh, you know there is a institute in kolkata and it is not possible for me i couldn't so i couldn't uh, get that kind of uh, you know opportunity so that is a reason so yeah other my other hobby is like uh, i want to become a teacher because uh, where i live this is a village area and rural area and uh, those students who are living who are living in a village area and uh, who uh, does uh, there is no environment so i want to become a in this time i want to become a teacher english teacher <laughs> english teacher so okay yes. so why are you doing your graduation in hindi Yes, ma'am. Actually, ma'am, uh, in in two thousand twenty, my English no was not good, and I was not confident. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have confidence to get any uh, Hindi literature. That's why, ma'am. But uh, yeah, after doing graduation, I I wanna take uh, Hindi lit. Uh, sorry, English literature. So after completing your graduation in Hindi honors first. then you will go for the english honors or english literature yeah ma'am yes ma'am because that time i couldn't uh, you know that time i didn't have i uh, what to say i didn't have confidence that time but in this time i think that i am able to do in this didn't time didn't have confidence in doing uh, graduation in english because confidence is we relate with spoken english mostly but in order to do your graduation or masters in english literature we don't need that confidence we only have to be good at reading writing and all those gradually when you start doing all of things all of these things as you have started yeah in the uh, uh, practice of the speaking uh, while having uh, while doing graduation in hindi honors you could have done the same thing with english simultaneously like you are doing your graduation in english everything is already there everything like you are learning words you are reading novels and things like like that in english literature we have to learn a lot of things so and simultaneously you could have started the speaking practice that, that you are already doing 
So for that, if we don't need yes, that ma'am. confidence, it is just for the student, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But it's okay. So I yeah. want to. Yes. So you know, uh, I want to open an in, uh, open institute where I teach. So this kind of uh, I am thinking right now. But uh, let's see what happens. I don't know. Okay. 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 So it means you don't want to become a government teacher. You want to open your yes, own yes. institute. Yes. Yes. That's why. For opening your own institute, I guess you don't need to go for the graduation and masters in English. You need to be good at yeah. it. If you are good, you have skills. You can just start because you have already a YouTube channel. From that, you can do your marketing and everything. You can show your skills. Basically, people come after seeing the skills. If you have the skills yes, of teach, if you have the teaching skills, only then people will automatically come to you. They don't. Uh, it doesn't matter that you have the degree in English. Or I don't have. I have only in Korean language. So yeah, let me introduce myself to now. Uh, yes, well, I'm yeah. seriously today happy to connect to you because it was really a long time to <laughs> we were just uh, <laughs> so issues, yeah. So thank you so much for connecting to me and for being patient with this, uh, you know, technical issues. I don't know what it was, but yeah, thank you so much for being patient. And yeah, as you know, my name is Rajni Verma. I'm from Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. Currently living here in Jaipur and. I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU, New Delhi. Right now, I am working on myself in order to enhance my communication skills in English. Uh, I'm more inclined towards learning English than Korean, but yeah, simultaneously, I'm learning a little bit Korean too because of I, I, I you know, lost the touch with with Korean too when I was there in home. So when I was actually preparing for banking exam, yeah. That's why, and English is, I guess, my passion, my love. I love this language very much. I enjoy talking to other people. Yeah. And even I enjoy listening to other people whenever I watch videos, whenever I talk to anyone, when they speak fluently and good English, I always enjoy, I always cherish that. And apart from that, uh, my hobbies, I love reading books. That is the only hobby right now, I can say. Um, yes. One hobby that was, I guess, um, when I was in school, I used to sing a lot. That was my, my mm -hmm. one hobby. I had, not now, but very soon I'll start working on that too because I love singing too. Yes, that's all about me. Yes, yes, ma'am. So do you like to sing? Yeah. New song or old song? <laughs> New song or old song, yeah? I used to sing a lot. I used to sing, but... Now, after 2015, like after school, I didn't sing anywhere, even not in college. I participated in dance. Uh, like I used to dance in school yeah. too, and then in college too, but I stopped singing. I don't know why, uh, what happened to me. I was just totally, you know, engrossed in learning Korean yes, yes. in college. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I just left that hobby in between. But now I'm whenever I listen to any song, I feel again to start start working on that uh, practice to do this thing one or two song in a day so I can just be good at that too. You are able to do other a lot of work. So that is a good thing. <laughs> and then I watch your video, you know, I'm so happy right now because I, I can watch see the happiness your on your video. face. <laughs> I watched your video, you know, uh, first video, my first vlog, and uh, my uh, you have you have uploaded two videos, my first vlog and second video. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, suddenly you you had upload like an English video. So, ma'am, can you please me? What is the reason? Mm -hmm. Because you, you have a blogging talent. Yes. You have a blogging channel, so you uh, you used to upload the, like a uh, uh, English conversation video, like yeah. Uh, so, what is the reason, man? Okay, nice question, by the way. Uh, you know, when I started, I was not sure what I'm going to upload. I started learning English too, but it was like I have only two to three subscribers, so I can upload anything, <laughs> kind of thing. But then, uh, let's see what is gonna work there on YouTube. That was the mind process at that time. When I started uploading those videos, English conversations, then the response was uh, pretty good. Then I thought, let's continue with that. Even blogging is a little, you know, challenging task. For yes. me, a person like me, for this person, because 
I feel I am an introvert person, so I cannot go in public and talk, even though in if it is uh because blogs we usually make in Hindi language or we can create those blogs in our own language. It is not required to speak English. Mm-hmm. But it is not about language, it is about the behavior of the person who I am, like I am an introvert. So it is difficult for me to go in public and shoot blogs and all. So you must have seen um uh, I just did the voice over there in the second blog or maybe yes, in, first I was I guess in the room and second uh, I did the voice over so it is little challenging for me that time it was challenging nowadays I am more confident the confidence has now <laughs> it. yes ma'am so uh, maybe very soon I'll do something with that too because I enjoy vlogging too but not on this channel let's see how it will gonna happen that's why i started uploading because at that time the mind process that uh was to like um just work on my communication skills and share with other learners too so they will also learn from those videos yeah yes ma'am. and did you start your youtube channel it has been one uh sorry it has been one year complete ma'am same thing that time you know my first blog is uh was trending that time that's why you know I thought that okay, so uh, I uh, we uh, I should make a blogging channel. So that's why that time I had a you know I had make a made a blog channel, blogging channel. So tell me the name of your channel. Time, Fitness. Pritam Pratiba Blogs. No, sir, no, ma'am. Pritam Pratiba Blogs. Okay, okay, got it. So okay, you yeah. just started for blogging itself. Yes, same same thing. But ma'am, uh, I used to upload video like a traveling blog and lifestyle blog. But uh, uh, you know, it was not growing up. That's why in this time, uh, you know, I thought that whatever I'm learning uh, English like like this. So in this time, whatever I have been facing problems, a lot of things. I have a fear. I have a lot of hesitation. So in this time, why not? Uh, whatever I'm doing, so through YouTube video, I share my journey. So in this time, um, uh, it has been two months complete, and uh, I am uploading like I have been uploading like a uh, English conversation video, and spoken part it has been two months. And uh, yes, ma'am. so first oh. I talked with the Yasoda madam, and Yasoda madam uh, she supported a lot of me. Because at that time, I, you know, for, at that starting time, I, a lot of, <laughs> I was nervous that time. So I felt, you know, oh. under confidence, confidence. Yes. Oh, but, but yes, yeah, yeah. Good. but she is so, uh, she is, uh, supported me that time a lot. Mm-hmm. As a, you know, kid, <laughs> as a children, like. Uh, mm, great, great, great. Okay. So, uh. Are you taking sessions with any uh, personal tutor or with any platform? Because your English is really good. If not, if you are not taking sessions, then what are you doing in order to improve? I would like to know. Yes, ma'am. I have taken, uh, you know, I have taken subscription Jostock and I practice uh, on Jostock till now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. And uh, uh, audio call. I first, uh, I, pract- uh, I used to practice audio call. First. And after okay. that, I felt that uh, I'm comfortable in video call, you know. So okay. after that, I started uh, my journey. So this this kind of happened with me. Hmm. So how long did you practice on audio calls? Like, like how much time did you take to become fluent, little fluent and, uh, you know, increase your confidence? How long did you practice on audio calls? Yes. It has been uh, uh, it has been two two or two half an uh, two and half an hour month. So I felt that uh, okay in this time. And ma'am, before uh, before having conversation uh, on audio call, first of all, I talk to uh, you know I talk I used to talk in front of mirror myself. So that's why, and you know, I used to, uh, and I used to upload a con- uh, uh, traveling and lifestyle blog. That's why I am comfortable in front of camera, <laughs> because uh, I go- I used to go to outside and in public in the crowded place. I used to talk 
and uh, I connect. Uh, you know, yeah. I used to connect uh, people, new new people. That's why. Mm-hmm. So I feel that's why I'm comfortable. Hi. <laughs> yes. Great, 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 great. Okay, so I didn't get exactly the time. Like, how long did? you take to become fluent in english it's been a year or only two months because whatever you yes. have discussed you know is all about two months so did you just cover everything yes. in two months or no no ma'am no okay. ma'am uh, you know i d- actually i didn't ha- have idea actually what mm-hmm. is the right way that's why you know it has been one year it has been one year complete i have been learning grammar rules that time but okay. spoken part it has been two months Yes, mm-hmm. it has been two months, and so in two thousand twenty. Grammar. Mm-hmm. Yes, and in two thousand twenty twenty one, my grammar was not good. I am not ever. I was not able to write properly. I was not able to speak. I was not, my pronunciation was not good that time. But in mm-hmm. this time, a little bit, I I am able to speak. That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, you ma'am. are speaking. Yeah, absolutely. Even the confidence level is also I can see very high. So I want to see. Uh, can you just tell viewers, uh, or or my subscribers that how much grammar helped you to speak English fluently, and what is your point Actually, of view? Actually, ma'am, should we learn grammar yes, in- first, then go for spoken, or should we learn simultaneously? Yes, ma'am. In my opinion, you can say like, uh, uh we want to speak English. So yes. for that we have to speak. We have to practice of speaking in front of mirror or mm-hmm. camera. Yeah. It is uh, like uh, we are first of all we are uh, we have to uh com- we have to be comfortable in front of mirror first of all because the same process happen with us like uh, while having conversation in front of people yes. because yeah. the whenever we talk before people that time we forget all the things because uh, that time we are not uh, comfortable. So first of all, we have to practice in front of mirror, and after that, we are comfortable in front of mirror, and after that, we are able to speak before people, video call or like a, a conversation, like uh, whoever in front of me. So we do, doesn't uh, that time we do doesn't uh, that time uh, we don't have uh, any fear, we don't have uh, any hesitation. Mm-hmm. So this kind of thing I uh, I used to do. that time but what about grammar i asked you the should we learn grammar first then spoke go for spoken or yeah start both the things simultaneously like together or uh, should be more focus on grammar what are what is the thought process no ma'am yeah. yes grammar is important ma'am uh, we have yeah. to know uh, we need to know tenses Be, uh, so first of all, simple test sentence like uh, this is a pen, this is a books. Uh, these are books like this. And second thing is tenses. Third thing is a uh, th- third thing is active. Uh, sorry, passive. A little bit like uh, this. Uh, the, uh, the the English is taught like simple, simple present indefinite like this. Uh, pre- uh, English is being taught like this. So and third is modal. So after that. we have uh, we know that uh, okay these are three things we know properly so after that we have uh, we have we should start speaking so mm-hmm. this is a good way yes so uh, this kind of thing i follow so i can get I'm, from you yes. is that little bit learn first grammar then start speaking but don't uh, waste too much time on mugging up the rules I, I, yes. in my opinion you we should do one thing that yeah i agree with you that we should know grammar absolutely we should know otherwise we will make small tiny mistakes errors while speaking and that errors reduces our confidence while speaking so uh, that's yes. why i also prefer i also tell others to work on grammar simultaneously initially when i started i used to say don't need to work on grammar but uh, yeah. you know uh, it's still not required that much if you are in not in a working profession like is if you aspire to become a teacher a tutor then you need to work upon grammar properly everyone knows that right but if you just want to speak fluently just learn right. one pattern two pattern in a week then uh, practice on that particular pattern with a uh, different people and make a lot of sentences talk to yourself think in english or in front of mirror or if you have environment friends talk with them too. 
like this i prefer like pick one or two patterns and work on that once you are good at them then yeah. other uh, grammar patterns and work yeah but just yes, really working on grammar patterns and not speaking to anyone is not going to help right yes ma'am hmm. i am agree with you totally because this kind of thing we have to follow so ma'am hmm. you know and i would like to add one more thing because uh, uh, i am so happy why you know because i have been working psychology for 20 uh, like 15 years since mm-hmm. childhood i started working so that's why it is dif- it was difficult because since childhood i wanted to learn english but that time my fam- family background was not good till now but mm-hmm. in this time a little bit so in this time whatever you know i get chance so i don't i i couldn't <laughs> I don't want yes. to miss any chance. Uh, That's why, yeah. Opportunity that is. Yeah. So in this time, you know, I have been working in psychiatry for fifteen years. So uh, those students, I I would like to say because uh, we have to, we have to be pass uh, like a passionate. We uh, we have yeah. a desire. We should have desire. So strong definitely we. yes strong determination determination so it's definitely we can do so like <laughs> so this is a, yeah thing yeah so it is uh, this is thing you yeah. know everything is i guess perfect in your case that the grammar is good your confidence is good you are keeping a big smile a beautiful smile on your face that is good a lot of things are there so i can say like if you if you have a strong determination and the desire if you are passionate about it you can do anything uh we can see this example yeah. of yours like you are working in a grocery store then the cycling and then the youtube and uh, you are a student of this uh, you are doing your graduation working on english and you want to become mm-hmm. a yoga teacher too so as you mentioned uh, for yoga teacher You, you said you, yeah. there is no uh, institute or something like that but nowadays uh, you can get a lot of uh, yoga teachers too online you have to just do a little research work and you will get there are like a lot of teachers yes, are there to uh, instagram or through youtube you can connect to them yes ma'am so it Yes, same thing. I in this time I'm thinking like whatever you said right now. Yes, yeah. online courses. So I yeah. online course uh, courses is available in this time. So yeah. I'm able to do. But in this time, you know, uh, first of all, I want to um, I want to speak. I want to become a fluent speaker. Yes. And uh, because uh, yeah, because uh, in this time uh, there are some problems, <laughs> but. Uh, after one uh, after one year i will do mm-hmm. because i i yes. love doing yoga and I, you know i used to teach yoga in 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 my village in uh, i get up you know i used to get up uh, at uh, five o'clock and yeah. after that i used to go to i would go to school because my my father is a private uh, private tu- uh, a, a private tutor so he uh, he teach he used he teaches like he teaches in uh, at home and uh, at well uh, in school so okay. that time i used to do yeah i used to teach yoga so, so yeah you know already yoga then you can just start uh, you are looking an institute for yourself or you are looking an institute to teach there and actually i actually ma'am i whatever i have learned myself I, uh, through youtube video so there is no certificate you know okay. i don't That's have certificate do any yoga course first so you can become a trainer yes i can you know so you know i with you i yes. mean a fascinating thing to do yoga meditation and things like that so we can match the vibes and i can i'm getting the vibe from you actually that's great <laughs> and i hope you achieve so, every dream in your life but and the one thing that you always should remember is be patient and keep learning yes mm-hmm. and ma'am in this time you know every people ignores uh, every people ignores like a uh, uh, fitness uh, in this time you know uh, the, uh, those people who are working in office and mm-hmm. they think that uh, uh there is no time you know i have i don't have time uh so they don't do ex- exercise daily yes. but uh, you know we have to, we should exercise a- at least 
15 15 minutes or half an hour this is a you know important mm -hmm. part of our life absolutely so, i agree i totally agree yeah. i was facing some issues with my health then again i started yeah. working upon the i you know like i the yoga also fascinates me a lot the yoga meditation and spirituality and second thing the you know the acupressure points and all that that also uh, yes. it's a lot actually that's why i do that these things too but these are the things that if they really actually if we, we can see the results in front of us if the result is evident to us then you know it is sometimes very inspiring to do more for now uh, thank you so much for joining the session and it was really nice talking to you it was relaxing one and actually i want to say here to the other learners too like come like this and talk to me like this because it was actually a conversation you know sometimes pritham what happened with me people yes, join the session i ask questions they don't even ask me the question conversation means you also ask questions yes. other person gives the answer now the other person also ask the question ask the questions and you get, then it is a conversation one on one conversation but if i am asking question again and again what is your routine what do you do how you learn what <laughs> people when I ask them, even deliberately I ask them, do you have any question for me? They say like, no, I don't have. So I want to say like, you know, prepare some questions too. So you will be able to, you know, ask questions others. No, other people are not going to always ask you the questions and you are going to answer. No, you have to initiate the conversation too. Sometimes if you are out there, or if you are not, if you have to go somewhere and you have to search for something, you will need to yeah. ask the questions too. So you have to work upon that too. And you will even uh, be able to work upon the question forms like, do you, did you, have you tried, did you go, have you ever been to there or something like that. So you have to work on that yeah. when it was really actually con good conversation. I want these kind of conversations. So I would definitely love to interact with you very soon. Okay then. Bye-bye. Have a great evening. Okay. Uh, have a great day. Sorry. Have a great day. And it was really nice talking to you. Even pleasure talking yes. to you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.